be a cold rain, but the next few hours right up until about the parade kicks off, we could see a light wintry mix already tracking some of that moving across Connecticut right now. And while we've been dry through the morning so far in Providence, the second half here of the morning commute 7 to 9 a.m. is when we expect to see the precipitation moving in. So 34 degrees feels like 27 northeast winds right now 8 miles per hour. Green, that's your rain. The pink, that's that icy mix. Hartford dealing with a little bit of freezing rain right now. And as this moves east into Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts from Providence south and eastward. We're mostly in the middle 30s right now, but it's those northern and western communities of ours that are slightly higher elevations up in the hills that will hover right around the freezing mark next few hours. And that's why we're watching for those slippery travel conditions for the morning, especially it does turn to rain, but slick roads here now through the late morning Wednesday, looking at a low threat tracker. It's going to be a very mild day, increasing confidence in maybe some significant snowfall on Thursday and enough to plow and shovel some travel or school disruptions possible as well. Outside this morning under winter weather advisory again mostly for the morning hours as we track the potential for some freezing rain that trip between uh, here and Boston may be a little icy after nine o'clock uh, eight or nine o'clock this morning. So certainly in the next few hours watching for some freezing rain. Be careful on the roadways. We're at 33 in Smithfield mid 30s Providence Newport at 36. So cold Cold rain in New Bedford as this pushes in. It's the leading edge here of some warmer air trying to arrive. We'll pick up about a quarter to a half an inch of rain before the system makes its way through. And then eventually you can see the center of low pressure. It'll bring a cold front through and it's along that front that we may see our next storm develop on Thursday. So let's time this out for you. Again, it's a wintry mix away from the coastline this morning. Boston's right on the edge. May see some flakes or some freezing rain before changing over to a cold rain in the afternoon. Notice that rain snow line does lift to the north. This is at two o'clock. Really kind of damp and raw day for us. Five o'clock this evening. Lingering showers for the evening. The temperatures rise overnight. We're in the well, close to 50 degrees early tomorrow with a shower to start the day, but then some clearing in the afternoon. And this is at five o'clock Wednesday evening, nine o'clock Wednesday night. And by the end of the evening on Wednesday, we'll be keeping an eye on the uh, precipitation that you see here down through West Virginia and southwestern Pennsylvania, because that could be what uh, turns into that accumulating snowmaker for us on Thursday. Today, our temperatures eventually working their way up, but only to the upper 30s by five o'clock in the evening. We'll hit a high near 40 40 before midnight and then those temperatures climb overnight. So I have our low at 40 most of the night though climbing into the mid and even upper 40s. Here's the outlook for Thursday morning. So snow over spreading the area in the morning hours. It'll continue throughout most of the day. This looks like a daytime storm and despite how warm we are tomorrow, it looks cold enough for mostly snow. This is one computer models take European model, but bringing in uh, some decent accumulations to our area on Thursday. So the track and intensity of this still some questions. There's a a large spread in our computer models with both of those. There is the potential for six inches or more of snow with travel and school impacts possible. Again, we're going to be really fine tuning the details on that Thursday storm. We'll get more data in throughout the day today. 38 today, mid 50s tomorrow, low 30s with that snow on Thursday. So potential for this to be again a daytime storm starting in the morning, lasting into the afternoon. Friday looks cold and dry. Some light snow possible Saturday from a clipper type system from Friday night into Saturday. That looks minor. A lot to